The University of Twente, as a knowledge partner in a STEPS project, organized a design for safety in battery system symposium with the purpose of create awareness about safety consideration and provide useful design for safety information in battery systems. Battery storage systems is a very big thing at the moment. It's, it's introduced on a large scale, not waiting for the technology to prove itself and to mature. Usually we don't have this uh, situation, but uh, due to the urgency of uh, uh, mitigating the climate change, uh, all kinds of measures, especially in the yeah, EV field, are uh, introduced. And the first question is why we need, um, uh, why there is a requirement for design for safety in a battery system. And um, I couldn't find a, a better uh, summary in these two lines. Recently, I got this in op-ed in uh, Bloomberg Opinion. When the fantasy of better battery science doesn't match a reality. Before a hazard becomes an accident, you need to have an initiating mechanism. Yeah? It could be a half hardware, a hardware failure, for example. It could be a software. It could be human activities yeah, that, that results in a hardware not working properly, yeah? abuse, misuse. It could be interface issues, yeah? two different hardwares or hardware and software interfacing uh, resulting in a fault and a condition. And it could also be the environment, external heating, uh, dampness, I try to identify the the, uh, the more detailed standards. I am discussing today the safety standards and regulations on the grid connected energy storage systems. So let me discuss a little bit the energy transition, why the topic of uh, energy system safety is so important. Then discuss or show you actually an example of the thermal runaway that has been we've been discussing already. Uh, I have a short uh, video on that. Um, and then we can also see why this is a different fire as that the fire brigade is, is known to. So each energy storage system contains high densities and uh, there's always a risk of an uncontrolled release of this energy. Accidents can happen and will happen in the Netherlands. It's not a question if it will happen, but when it will happen. And where everybody, as I told, runs away, we have to go there and we have to solve the problem. And that's difficult. All those batteries are abracadabra for the firefighters. For them, it's just a black box. Um, the thing they want to know is what can we do if we have an accident with uh, batteries? The batteries today, they are flammable, that's true. And either the best management system, it can fail, or even if the management system doesn't fail, maybe the cell itself fails. The key issue in uh, in having safe battery systems, is it in, in technology uh, from material cells to, to systems? Um, is it in standards? I think you all mentioned. Um, is it in um, knowledge? <laughs> 